We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show coming at you in Loja, Ecuador. We're in the city. We're buying supplies for irrigation purposes. We're getting a well. And some trees. We're buying trees? Oh no, we are buying trees. We'd like some water. Yes. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you in a bit. All right, everybody, I know what I wanted to say. I wanted to talk about macro and micronutrients a little bit more. Because everyone was freaking out in the comments that, oh my God, all the food I eat now is not beneficial because I don't eat it first thing in the morning, all the micronutrients. I didn't say that you won't get benefit from them. I just said you won't get as much benefit from them. Absorption abilities go down after your first solid meal. And I, I guess I should address green smoothies. It also depends how big your first meal of the day is. If it's just like a green smoothie, that digests pretty quickly, so it doesn't affect too much how the next micronutrient meal will be. But if you're gonna pig out and have some like raw cereal with nut milk, then I don't know, or any nuts and seeds in there, that takes like six hours to digest, four to six hours. So then if you try to have something where you're trying to get micronutrients from it after that, it's going to be a bit tricky. Yeah, and even if you do digest that, that causes a lot of fermentation in the bot, in the in your digestive system, and you will absorb after it's digested, but not as well as if you would have done it before that. So think wisely about what you put first thing into your body because that's your best chance for absorption. And if you put micronutrients all over your salad or something, yes, you won't get as much benefit from them, but you'll get some benefit. A lot of the food is actually utilized in digesting the, the food, like the body use, utilizes that to digest the food. And I guess the good part of it is that you only need small amounts of micronutrients anyway, that's why they're micronutrients, so... There was another thing I wanted to tell them, but I forgot. Maybe I'll remember in a second. See you in a bit. Yes, we are back to our pretty house. See guys, it's just really easy for us to sometimes be able to come on the computer like this and just say hello and have a giggle chop. So sometimes, you know, this is better than nothing. We go outside a lot though, we'll do that, right Ben? So Loha. It's just a city that's like Worse than New York with diesel fumes coming out of every truck on the planet. God, wow. I'm a mess from it. Yeah, I had a sore throat after we left there today. We were there all day. Things take a really long time here. <laughs> Most of the time. If there's one person ahead of you, just plan on waiting a couple hours. I take my knitting with me everywhere. I just sit and knit. Or a book. Good idea to have a book with you or something. Man's Higher Consciousness, everybody. This is the book everybody should be reading. Mm. Why? Because it's my favorite raw food book. It'll give you a deep understanding of a lot of stuff that's going on. Yeah. It'll blow your mind. It's that simple. Maybe they'd like to know about these things as well. Yep, we have them by our computers. They are grounding bracelets. Goes right into the grounding wire of the plug. We got them from Longevity Conference. Yep. They're very cool. At the end of it, it just has one prong to go into your, uh, the third prong, on the grounding prong on the plug. And then you just put this guy on your wrist or your whatever, just so it's touching your skin, and you're grounded. Ta-da! Woo! Inside, outside, outside, inside. Here's a new product we just got on our website. It's a special kind of floss. Why does Laura like this one so much? Uh, She's like, oh, we gotta get it. I think she said they're pretty, and also it expands or something, or it doesn't yeah. expand. I mean, I've been using it. I'm used to like that Oral B floss stuff, or the Johnson and Johnson or something. It's like. 
It's pretty cool. I use it every night. It's what I have. It's like fat. And then thin. No. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I guess it's kind of flavored. No? Same people that make our tongue scrapers. Uh, I like the tongue scrapers. Yeah. What would you use for tooth floss in the wild? I would take one of Barbie's hairs. Ooh. She'd maybe kind of like that in a way, wouldn't she? Or is she, if one was like coming out, she might kind of enjoy the connection. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can maybe hear her clumping around in the background. We weren't here all day, so we didn't get as much time with her as we usually do. And now she's clumping around outside. Hello! Does she want food or does she want to say hello? Probably a bit of both. She probably wants some extra massage and some extra carrots. Alright, I gotta come clean and straight, everybody. Why? So, there is one thing that uh, I appreciate Angela Stokes for. She's a very nice wife. <laughs> So, you know, back in the day, before I met Angela, I probably wouldn't have been the nicest to certain people or animals or anything like that. Angela's taught me to be very nice to everybody and just give love all the time. Aww. Yeah. That's a nice little story, Bob. Let me give you an example. Today I, was, I saw Cherry sitting there. And like all of a sudden, my old ways came back in my head, and I just wanted to go ah, da 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 <laughs> to Cherry. <laughs> Who's our baby horse? If you don't know who Cherry is. But then I realized that's not a very loving thing to do, and it's not love, and he'll probably grow up with issues if I were to do something like that because he's being made fun of and stuff like that. Oh, no. And so what I did was I pulled out of that because I heard Gila speaking in my brain like I always do. <laughs> and we were just, I was like, and all of a sudden it just turned into straight pure love. Oh, hi, Cherry. I love you. Oh, you're so pretty. And then I started petting him and yelling mm. And it was not breaking the universal love flow. So that's what I'm a better person because of Angela. <laughs> Thank you, Baba. Very sweet little story, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Well. Bye bye. Mm. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Monarch can tell the nice people the last three things he does before he goes to sleep. You mean this whole circle? Every single night at the same time I brush my teeth. <laughs> but first I floss them. And then I go in the shower. And then it's time to go to bed. And then I wake up. And then I drink water. Baba. And then I stretch. And then I drink coconut water. And then I go on the computer. And then I <laughs> bin blob for an hour. And then it all starts over again. And then I go and I floss my teeth. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> that sounded like a bit of a miserable story, didn't it? That one. <laughs> So I guess the last three things were flossing, brushing, and showering. And touching Gila's bum. Baba! Yeah. Have we got that? Baba. My favorite? No. No. Angela Stokes. And Matt Monarch with the toilet paper. <laughs> Why? That's what I blow my nose with sometimes. A lot of detox going on in Rocalumba. And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World.
What has happened? I don't know. TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.